The state of the number four highway in southwest Saskatchewan has been a topic of concern for those in the region for a number of years. Meetings have taken place dating back to the 1980s, involving local stakeholders and partnering firms in Montana to develop a north-south trade corridor. With the intricate U.S. highway system eventually linking to the number four highway, transportation of goods and direct lines to tourism can carry traffic from the U.S. border, past Swift Current, and straight north to areas such as Meadow Lake, Prince Albert, and beyond. All discussions aside, those close to the project state the 24-hour trade corridor has not become a reality for one main reason. Well, it's, it's the state of our highway. Like uh, number four, south of Cadillac especially, has been neglected. Uh, certainly there were economic reasons for that in the past, but uh, it is the, uh, for a, a highway that, uh, you know, transcends right across the province of Saskatchewan, that last 50 miles, 50, 55 miles is in such poor shape that no one will use it. So uh, even, you'd need the highway, I think, before you even needed the port openings, although one should tie in with the other. Our Southwest TV news crew recently made a trip down to Val Marie to have a first-hand look at the state of the highway. A combination of potholes and rainy conditions made the trip memorable. Holy. Meanwhile, those individuals who have been involved in the trade corridor discussions with the Southwest Saskatchewan Committee are also voicing their concerns over the state of this provincial highway and its overall impact on trade relations. Yeah, the highway over here is uh, considerably better than four. And consequently, what you find is, is people in the transportation business uh, moving goods. They're not going to select roads or routes that, that are that's going to beat their equipment to death, and it's going to cause them time delays, and, and it's just a, an inadequate method of moving. They're going to look for the most efficient and uh, the, the most decent type of road that they can travel. This has proven out time and time and time again. If you don't have a decent highway infrastructure in your area, you virtually are not going to have any kind of economic development, nor are you going to have any kind of economic transfer of goods. Southwest TV News caught up with Premier Brad Wall to discuss the matter in more detail. Wall says he's aware of the concerns of the number four highway, and it is on the Ministry of Highways radar. We've inherited as a government about a billion dollar deficit in highways construction. That's not our figure, that's the CAA. The CAA did an analysis and, and they call it the billion dollar pothole in the province that we've been talked about in the last campaign. So we've been spending record amounts in highways, uh, record amounts in, in fixing highways and roads across the province. And it's part of our capital spending initiative for the government, part of the economic stimulus package. And we know there's more work to be done. There's still more potholes than there are pavement. Uh, we're working to address that, but uh, it can't be all. It can't be done all overnight, and uh, we hope that people in Saskatchewan see that. See progress is being made, even though we recognize that there's a lot of work out there that needs to be done. That highway's part of that uh, demand still. And with a major tourism attraction only miles from the border at Grasslands National Park, the question of possible federal funding to restore the highway was directed to the premier. You know, there may be, and uh, I think we've seen the stimulus money roll out from the federal government, and, and credit to the federal government, they've kept their promise to move it out rapidly and quickly. Uh, the, the grasslands angle may exist, and, we'll, and it's something that we've, we've, we've talked about as well, and uh, we don't, I don't have anything more definitive on that at this point, though. Meanwhile, for those who travel the stretch of road on a regular basis, upgrades to Highway Number 4 are long overdue, with safety concerns at the forefront. And that highway has gotten to the point that if you meet a semi, you pull right over. If you're, if you're two semis and you're meeting one another, yes, it's dangerous. The road is not wide enough and it's very rough, so it bounces you around. Yeah, it's quite dangerous. Uh, I know the schools are concerned. Uh, bus drivers are concerned. They're very careful. If they meet someone, they'll pull over. It certainly does need to be better than it is. Um, it can be better than it is when you drop into the states. It's the same temperatures, the same soil structure. And as one season now blends into the next, the Train Corridor Committee stresses the province needs to step up to the plate and fix Highway Number 4 once and for all, as other centers across Saskatchewan see the advantages of a north-south trade corridor from Montana. I was um, surprised at the speed and readiness of the cities and communities and RMs and villages along number four and even uh, right up to Saskatoon, the mayor of Saskatoon phoned with his support 
there's there's a, a, a great desire and need for a, a corridor at this end of the province like there is at the other side that runs into Regina. And with both the province and the Trade Corridor Committee realizing the importance of the number four highway to cross-border trade relations, the question is now when upgrades will actually take place on this crucial stretch of highway.